Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the AudioCast M5, which is produced by a company based in Shenzhen, China called UYESEE, -E. and this is a direct competitor with the Chromecast Audio. It does the same thing that it does, basically you connect it up to a pair of traditional speakers or wired speakers in a home theater, and then it adds a wireless functionality in the form of Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to your phone. There are a few supported apps and apps designed by the company, which then allows you to put push and stream content, and then transform your wired speakers into wireless speakers. It all works pretty well and also has a multi-room functionality if you have multiple of these audio casts. However, the awkward thing is the Chromecast audio sells for only $35, whereas this thing is priced at $37 to $40, so it's more expensive and less well known. So it's going to be a bit of a tough sell. Uh, however, the company does claim that it has a slightly improved audio performance and has a few extra features on board that the uh, Chromecast audio does not. Still, we do think that they should match that price just to make it extra competitive because they are going up against Google. Otherwise, the packaging and presentation is pretty good. Again, quite reminiscent of the Google Chromecast, I'd say, although the design of the unit itself is a little bit more innovative in my opinion. We'll show you that in a moment. You can see that it does support a Spotify for music streaming, uh, casting your music easily from your phone to your speakers wirelessly, so a good transformation tool. There are a lot of other comp competing devices on the market, but again, the Chromecast Audio and the AudioCast M5 are some of the smallest designs, so if you're looking for portability, this might be something to consider. Again, multi-room support is on here. It allows you to hook it up to stereo speakers, AirPlay, DLNA, QPlay, Spotify Connect are all supported. Uh, it connects up using uh, Bluetooth, using uh, Wi-Fi, and you set things up with the application which you first download from the iOS or Android Play Store works with, again, these apps, and then the app itself is actually free to download. So uh, should be a pretty simple and straightforward process in terms of the setup. And in the box, there's access to a uh, basic information about the, about the unit from the company, and it's also a quick letter that the actual ca company sent over along with the product for review purposes. Uh, but finally, this is just the unit itself. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. A quick instruction manual is located inside of here for telling you how to set things up, how to download the app. It's printed in full color, so um, it does it is pretty straightforward and easy to uh, understand. Finally, in the lower compartment of the box, you have access to all the peripherals inclusive of a micro USB cable for charging and providing power to the audio cast unit. And there is an auxiliary cable, which is gold plated. It's a 3.5, which is required to hook up the audio cast onto the speakers. So a standard port connector. So taking a close look at the design of the audio cast M5 first. Uh, as aforementioned, it's about the same size as a Chromecast audio, but uh, what I like about it is it reminds me of a record uh, has these kind of vinyl grooves on it, which is kind of interesting and, you know, really shows off the purpose of the unit, which is uh, for music and for music only. It doesn't do video, but uh, then again, it really is uh, emphasizing high fidelity wireless sound. Uh, otherwise, on the base here, we have access just to that 3.5 mm jack for connecting it to that speaker, micro USB for that power, uh, LED light once power is running through, and a simple uh, reset slash tap key for setting and pairing things up for the first time. And that's basically it. A very clean presentation. The back feature a rubber feet which prevents the unit from sliding around when you have it on a surface or a desk because it is very lightweight and constructed entirely out of plastic. So next we're going to go over how it actually functions. We're going to try pairing it and showing you guys a quick clip of the audio quality once we have it connected to a speaker and a phone. Here we have the audio cast plugged into power and also onto a speaker. This can be anything from a Bluetooth speaker to a home stereo set. Anything that doesn't have Wi-Fi built in can benefit from this so that if you download the application you can then control your music anywhere in the world. So in this case, again, we have a Bluetooth speaker hooked up and there is a blue LED on the bottom of the audio cast, which will glow and tell you that uh, power is being flowed through and that uh, you can then connect a phone or the app with the audio cast unit. So the application itself, which is free to download, is just called audio cast from the iOS or Google Play Store. And then afterwards, it uh, the first time that you open up the application, it uh, searches for the audio cast, and afterwards it tells you to enter your home's uh, router network uh, Wi-Fi password so that the audio cast can then link up to the Wi-Fi, and then you know once you open up the app on a phone or on a tablet, you can then control whatever music you want to push onto the audio cast. So for instance, this is the interface. It's quite simple and easy to navigate. You have access to a few preloaded um, apps on here as well, such as things like iHeartRadio, Pandora, VTuner, Spotify, so that you can play back music directly from these internet radio sources and then, and then it's going to be pushed uh, in relative high fidelity of, uh, as well to the speaker itself, and it works very, very 
very well since it's Wi-Fi, you aren't limited to that 10 meter range with Bluetooth. And also the audio quality seems sees a significant bump up uh, in terms of the uh, fidelity and the overall quality. So not quite as good as a wired pair of speakers, but uh, certainly is better and cleaner sounding than a typical pair of Bluetooth speakers. So doing a quick audio sample next, I'm just gonna play back a music I have on my phone already. Um, this is just a fade by Alan Walker. So playing this back, you can really hear that um, you don't have any distortion, you don't have any static in the background. If I you know, pause the music, um, that happens almost immediately and there's no static at all. Again, if you even if you listen very closely, turn the volume all the way down or the volume all the way up. So it is much more cleaner sounding than your average Bluetooth speaker. Um, otherwise, it's quite rich. You can hook this up to you know, multiple speakers to create a three-dimensional effect, change the volume, change the tracks. Um, the interface here is quite clean, simple, and easy to operate all in all. So uh, pretty good as far as um, you know, design is concerned. Now, if I leave the application, the music is still playing in the background. Same thing with the streaming internet radio. So you don't have to be in the app the entire time. You can then access on your phone, you know, YouTube, or browse the web uh, while the music is playing. And since it's using Wi-Fi, the best thing is the speakers on the phone are still working. So I can play back a YouTube clip on my uh, phone and still enjoy that YouTube clip without disrupting the music playing back in the background through the speakers. So let's listen to a few more seconds of this uh, audio clip. So hopefully that gave you guys a good idea of what the music and audio quality is like using the uh, audio cast. So it certainly is a good competitor to Google's own solution. And again, at this price point, I think it's fair uh, and also works very well. So if you're looking for a way to transform wired speakers into a wireless option, um, this is certainly an option to consider. At the end of the day, the audio cast M5 performs well. Audio quality is clean, it's crisp, and the reception with the Wi-Fi antenna is quite strong as well. The overall design and the finish is quite compact. It's small, just like the Chromecast audio, but we kind of expect all of these things anyways, considering it's more expensive than the Chromecast audio. It does face stiff competition from other low-cost uh, music players and music Wi-Fi boxes out there, uh, perhaps like the Muso Cobblestone, for instance. Um, but this one, again, is really going for that portability and ease of use the built-in app is also, again, quite responsive and easy to set up. At the end of the day, though, again, this is something that really is up to the buyer. I think the Google Chromecast already does a, a fantastic job, or I should say the Chromecast Audio does, but the AudioCast M5 really isn't bad, and if you're looking for something with uh, a bit more of a unique look to it, as well as some added functions from the app standpoint, then this is something that you could certainly consider. You can check out more details in our official written review, but this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the AudioCast M5.